girls finna get juicy. Big disciple, not bad and bougie. This ain't no love. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. The end of our separation is you yearn to be held by his strong, manly arm. Talk to us, Steve. Your lips burn for his kick. Burn, baby. <laughs> Like Laura popped up, we back, baby. We back at it with another one. Steve and Laura time all the time in the le life lessons of Steve and Laura. And what's the life lesson here? Study buddy. You know what I'm saying? Get you a study buddy like Steve and Laura. Let's go. I am so tired. Mm. Well, lately you always are, baby breath. <laughs> baby like just breath. yesterday, you fell asleep in class. That can happen. Yeah, it can. Not while you're writing on the blackboard. Oh. What's cooking, good looking, spill it. What's cooking, good looking? Mind your own business, Steve. Now go ahead. Mm -hmm. Double stars. She won't talk about it. Some pairs, such as Gamma Arietis, have the oh. colors. Here she comes, Steve. <laughs> Here she comes, Steve. See, this, see, this is where Steve don't realize where things are working for him. You know, Steve, you're reading to her and she starts to get used to hearing your voice and your voice is putting her to sleep. It's working for you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh-huh. It's working. It's working. Wrap around, sir. No, wrap around. Her. Oh, Joy, it's Steve. <laughs> now I'm... I'm I hope people know Laura is just playing there, guys. I hope people know that. She's just playing. With Myra. Well, what's wrong now? Hmm. That new bio wench is smothering me. Mm. Why, she follows me around like a lovesick puppy. What should I do, Laura? I just do what I do to you. Ignore. <laughs> Ignore. Well, obviously that doesn't work. It doesn't at all. He's still standing right next well, to you. Okay, then just tell her the truth. You're too mm. young to get so serious. You need a little space. Hmm. Ah, the truth, huh? I'm not being serious. You can't see it, but if you see the, the, her beautiful cheekbones, they are arising, okay? Which means that she is smiling. What did Lord just say to Steve? Well, just tell her you're you're too young to be so serious. Huh. Could this possibly be the separation between her and between Laura and Steve? Steve is talking about marriage and baby in a baby carriage. And Laura's like, slow that down. We're too young for all that. So I wonder if people ever thought about that. But here's the other point about it too. This is what lets us know. Steve is not feeling Myra like that because Steve don't have no problem with being in a serious relationship with Laura, but he does when it comes to Myra. Okay. Don't ignore your heart. Well, we've been seeing each other for a while now. And don't you think it's time that you made a commitment to me that we could go steady? Steady? Mm. Yes. Steady so Eddie. if you wanted to get me a ring or an ID bracelet, I'd be willing to pay for it. <laughs> So this is how you should know <laughs> that Myra knows that this ain't really going to last. Make it last forever. It's not. Uh, let's remember this, okay? When she said, well, you can present me with a bracelet or a ring of some sort. Who did Steve do that with? Do we need to bring it back here? Okay. Except this small gift that's a little memento of our two glorious weeks together. Beautiful. One third carat diamond with one tenth the sparkle of your lovely eyes. An ID bracelet? Too low. Uh, thank you, Steve, but I can't keep this. Mm. Well, why not, Pudding Pop? Because we're not going steady. Mm. But we should. Our relationship is progressing nicely. So we just want to bring this back <laughs> to show you that he gave Laura a ring and a bracelet. Check this, what he says next. Hmm. I feel we're much too young to get so serious. Hmm. What? Well, I was thinking that maybe we could sort of see other people for a while. Stephen, I don't understand. What's wrong with me? I'm not smart enough. Oh, hmm. no, it's not that. Oh, you're brilliant. I'm not pretty enough. Oh, no, you're gorgeous. Why, haven't you noticed the way middle-aged men stare at you? Will understand your value. You will understand you can't entertain everybody that comes your way. You should have guys after you. Sis, you beautiful. You should have women after you. Bruh, bruh, you're handsome. So I'm, am I not smart enough? Am I not pretty enough? See, some of y'all, that just go right over your head. She's talking about Laura. You, Myra seen a chick like Laura. Myra is smart enough to know that, that most women, women like her and like Laura, are not the triple threat. She, Myra knows that this, that she is not the norm, but she also knows that Laura is not the norm. You got peep game on that. What's wrong? Well, Myra, I, I, I just feel 
Ew, I need a little space. Mmm. Oh, I see. What is it, Steve? How it's Myra. I know, I saw a runoff crying. How it made me feel awful. So, and this is another thing. <laughs> this one is so beautiful about the life lessons of Stephen Lord. While Steve is trying to figure out his heart with Myra, Steve and Laura are still building. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What, how do you know? Because Laura knows everything that's going on in Steve's heart and in his life. Who is he still going to talk to? Laura. <laughs> Getting advice from her. Opening up to her. Now maybe you see how I feel when I try to get rid of you. Oh, what do you mean? Hmm. Well, you always look so sad and pitiful and it makes me feel sorry for you. And I always end up apologizing. I just can't figure out why I do that. You can't figure out why you do it, Laura? You can't figure it out? <laughs> Steve, take it away, bro. You know what it is. You love me, don't you? There you go, right there. Are you okay? No, I'm not. Hmm. The woman's wacko, Laura. Hmm. Why she simply won't take no for an answer. Hmm. What do you do when someone is just obsessed with you? What do you do, Steve? What? Beats me. Lord, don't know. <laughs> You're still here. Care to <laughs> discuss it over dinner? No. <laughs> Lunch? Mm -mm. Breakfast? Now look, I love I love how Laura does. See, that's that's the other little charm Laura got where she busts everything out with that beautiful smile. What do we see here, Rad? So Steve doesn't want to be serious with Myra, but he's still standing right next to Laura and say you want to discuss it over you want to discuss it over dinner. He's not talking about like let's go to Pizza Hut, you know what I'm saying, or pizza pizza parlor, you know, Popeyes. He talking about going to a romantic restaurant. So again, what are you seeing out of this? Something uniquely different about Laura that Steve loves that that Myra that she does not possess that trait. The world's sexiest concert promoter. Yeah. Hey Steve, things are really coming together. Shanice's mm. concert is going to raise a lot of money for our scholarship fund. Yeah. Mm. Say, you look pants. Back rub, black eye. Back the chemistry of Kelly and Jalil, man, is just on another level. It's it's insane. It's insane. So, my little daffy Billy, hmm. my birthday's this Saturday, and I'm going to throw a big bash. Big what bash. What time? Well, who's going to be there? Well, so far, you, me, and the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Steve will do whatever to get lower there, a big bash, but it's just going to be you, me, and the cake. No, that's that's not a big bash, Steve. That's a little intimate. That's a little intimate, Steve. <laughs> Well, uh, I can't make it, so say hi to the cake. Yeah. I understand. Myra's out of town this weekend, and I decided not to invite my parents. So no one's coming to your birthday party? Mm. Well, observe. Uh, they ripped off his clothes. Jalil may be skinny, but he's always had a nice little physique, huh? He's always had a nice physique. Look at Laura. What, what you doing over there, Steve? What you doing over there? See you, Laura, licking around the corner, ass Steve. Licking around the corner. Of course you did. Of course you did. Laura still ain't done looking. Hey. Yeah, this is Laura Winslow. Mm. Yeah, I'm having a birthday party for a friend this Saturday at my house. Can you come? Well, the party's for Steve Irvin. <laughs> People say all the time, well, what, what does Steve love about Laura? Uh, to me, I'm like, how can you not see it? I don't understand how people don't see it. She wants to throw a birthday party for Urkel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hello, Steve. Yeah, I was wondering if you could come over. There's something I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> What's up, baby? Lightning speed. Lightning speed. Because Laura called, I got my lightning speed. <laughs> Steve, will you clean the house on your birthday? Well, it's like my mother says, the dust doesn't know it's a special day. Oh, wow. <laughs> so disrespectful. 
So di so disrespectful. <laughs> Here, I got you a little something. Mm. Happy birthday, Steve. A present? There you go. For me? To you. From you? From her. Take me now, Lord. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> Open it. <laughs> Half off the price of admission to Cheese Town. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. How oh, thank you are. I love it. <laughs> Let me tell you what's so beautiful about this moment where Steve and Laura, where Laura actually has to catch up with Steve. This is a prime example of what I've been talking about, right? When I said, Steve, because he doesn't have love in the home, he knows what he feels in his heart for Laura is true because he can look around him and see this ain't it. Versus Laura, because she has been just overwhelmed with love, she can't dissect it as much, right? <laughs> That's why he loves well, him. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I wanted to give you a party, but I got a late start and everybody already had prior commitments. Oh, no need to explain. I totally understand. Hmm. Why it would take a miracle to get people to come to a party for me. Mm. Well, I'm glad you understand because... Surprise! Bam! <laughs> Look at that. One thing that we have to realize... Um, when it comes to Myra and Laura, this is where they're different. I'm not saying that Myra wouldn't have done something nice for Steve necessarily, but I don't know if it would have been this, right? Daniels, Dr. Darius Daniel says, when the right woman shows up, help shows up. You know what I'm saying? H-E-L-P shows up. And that's one thing that you keep seeing from Laura. Laura is such a helper to Steve in so many ways. And I don't mind it at all. They should have had him sing more. They should have had him sing more. His beautiful voice, beautiful self, really. Thank you, Luther. Right. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Get it out, Steve. Get it out, Steve. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> Thank you all from the bottom of my little Urkel heart. Mm. I've never been so happy. You deserve it, sugar, because we all love you. Right, gang? Well, I was here. I <laughs> <laughs> Look at Laura's face. Look, I threw him a party, okay? Don't put words in my mouth now. Don't put words. They do, though. And Laura does, too. Steve, I think you better blow out these candles before we have to call the fire department. Did you make a wish? It came true, and all the people I love gave me a birthday party. Mm. Such a sweet moment. Such a sweet moment. Look at these two. <laughs> Sneak a peek, Steve. Sneak a peek. <laughs> Sneak a peek. This is what I love right here, because like on full display right now, Laura's brains and beauty in full effect. Steve's trying to study, because he's her, you know, she's the study buddy, but he's too busy staring at her. Brains and beauty. Brains and beauty. <laughs> Steve, what? Stop staring at me. Mm. No, I can't help it. Mm. It's just that you're so, so, a party. Party. <laughs> the I think we have with society now is we think that everybody's supposed to be alike, do alike, sound alike. We are scared to be our individual selves. We're scared to be who God has created us to be. He created you with your hair like that. He created you short or tall. He created you thick or thin. He created you with those, uh, with the way that your lips are shaped, the way your eyes are shaped, created you with that skin tone, right? He created you with that personality. That's how he created you. And God never created any of us to be like the other. That's why he made us so uniquely different. You know, and so when you understand that there is something uniquely different about Laura that Steve loves. You know, one of the things that I look at it when it comes to Steve is how at this point now he's not listening to his heart. You know, he's listening to his mind. Like I said, he's recognizing, you know, the status that he gets with Myra because Myra's beautiful, right? Myra's beautiful. She's gassing him up a little bit. She looked good on his arm. You know what I'm saying? 
and but but he's not being true to himself. And so you saw the ups and the downs. How he's tell, you know he told Myra, "I need my space." Now we ain't never seen Steve even act even close to like that when it comes to Laura, right? If anything, she needs to get closer, get closer, baby, get closer, you know. And the thing that that I always think about the the thing that feels good or that it feels right can actually be the wrong thing. And the thing that feels like it's the wrong thing can actually be the right thing. And what I mean by that is a lot of, so for example, let's go to the life lessons of Stephen Lohr. You know, Myra can feel right in some ways because Steve is getting the results that he wants, right? He wants somebody that's going to be affectionate. He wants somebody, you know, that um, is going to go and uh, do the polka, do the polka, right? Do the polka dancing. He he wants those things, but it's not with the right person. Versus you look on the side of Laura, she is the right person, but but she is not ready yet. She is not there yet. And so, so what happens? Steve goes and gets himself into this situation because he's not getting the results that he wants from Laura, but he is getting them from Myra. So this is where, where it can feel and say, man, maybe Laura isn't the one because of the results I'm not getting. And maybe my, Myra is the one because of the results that I'm getting. And that guys is one of the most deceptive things that, that you will ever learn that some t- I, I, I've learned it, that you will recognize that, man, that, that thing that doesn't feel good is actually what God has for me to do. This thing that feels comfortable, it feels, you know, right and tight is, is, is something God is calling you out of. And it's just something that I know. Now let's go, let's go to scripture real quick. Uh, let me see. Romans 7, 19, 19 to 25 Amplified Bible. It says, for the good that I want to do, I do not do, but, but I practice every, uh, but I practice the very evil that I do not want. But if I am doing the very thing that I do not want to do, am I no longer the one doing it? But is it the sin nature which lives in me? Right. So we're seeing even scripture here that is showing us like this is our nature, right? It's our nature to go, um, you know, with the thing that feels right, but could be wrong and the thing that feels wrong, but actually could be right. You know, it might be in that situation you, that that, re- that relationship does not come in as quick. That job is not coming as quick. You know, that that goal is not coming as quick. Whatever that thing is, you're not getting the results that, the, that you want it. And it's making you be, it's making you fall back. It's making you question it. And, I'm, and, and the beauty about this and the beauty about God is that he is not uh, 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 shaken by those things. You know, he's not taken aback by those things. And a lot of the times God will, God will have you, like the Bible says, be still and know that I am God. Stand still and know that I am. Am God, and that's what really Steve needs to do in this situation, because that's why his heart is going so back and forth. You know, with you know breaking up with Myra and wanting space, because he's trying to make his heart want what his heart don't want. And let me say this: this is another reason why you people should respect Laura, because Laura is not doing what Steve is doing with Myra is not what Laura's doing with Steve. My Steve is kind of. You know, going with Myra, he knows he does not feel the same way for Myra than he does Laura, but he's kind of playing along with her a little bit because she looked good, she smelled good, she probably kissed good. Okay, all that good stuff, right? And so it's kind of keeping him there, you know, on, on the physical, on, on the mental side, but his heart still isn't connecting. You know what I'm saying? And then, but, and, and this is why I say you should respect Laura. Laura's not doing any of that with Steve. Steve, you're not getting none of this till I'm ready. When I'm ready, you'll get all of it. But up until then, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to play with your mind. I'm not going to play with your heart. And see, this is the thing that I, that people just don't understand and respect about Laura. And I'm not saying Steve is wrong because, you know, let me go back and I'll put it on here. Fair warning. I intend to remain friends with Laura. Exactly. I've been and building. If she gives me the slightest inkling that I can win her heart. Mm. I'm gone, baby. I'm gone like the wind, baby. And I accept those terms. Myra, okay. Hey, I'm thrilled. Mm-hmm. Myra signed up for all this, so Steve is now wrong in what he's doing. But what I, what I'm saying is he's not, he's being dishonest to his heart, and it is causing 
um, issues, as you can see, between him and Myra. This scene right here, it was so genuine with Laura. You saw she was just so... You, and so this is what I'm saying where, where Steve, again, where, where, where Steve loves Laura. Because there's sometimes she will bring out her gentle, soft, warm side. And, and what, what Steve sees is he sees that being her period, right? When she grows up, she matures, and Steve sees that in her. You know, he sees these things that she's doing right now, got him a gift. But we tend to get, we tend to get impatient when we don't see w what we want to see when we want to see it. You know, and that's the, that is the biggest thing that's going on now and how Myra's even able to get in the door is because Steve is not getting the results that he wants from Laura. But again, though, if Steve were to look around and take inventory, he will see Laura's right where she needs to be. If it's not for me, Lord, then let it be delayed. Help me. Ooh, we got it. If it's not for me, Lord, then let it be delayed. Yeah, we had to, uh, you know, how many of us are really that patient? To like, that's why it says it's so much in the Bible to wait on the Lord. That's why, because, you know, uh, the, he has great things for us. You know, as we know the story of Stephen Lord, he got lower for, he got lower for Steve. Laura coming with all her gifts. You know what I'm saying? With everything. And it's really like, can we wait and can we trust the place of delayed until God brings the deliverance? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you.